Hello everyone, I'm back, and this is another Minecraft episode. As you can see, I have been busy, really busy. I have made a an enclosure, a giant enclosure that holds another portal. And as you can see, I'm short. I am only one block high. I am a halfling, because I'm still using that mod that was made by Evil Notch called Evil Minecraft. And I have done a bit of decorating on the inside of this place. And here's the portal. And the hobbit or halfling walks a lot faster. If you notice, I can go super fast just by walking. Let's go down and see my rail station that I built before the first episode that I made, but I never showed it to you guys. So now here's the transport station. Goes under the mountain straight towards this other station. And as you can see, I have decorated it with a flaming netherrack skull. And as you can see, there are ashes here. And ashes are in this mod, and they only appear whenever trees or other objects are burned. So I burned a lot of trees over here so that I can make room for buildings more icicles left over from some trees that I took down. I still have my prison. <laughs> and I've kept I've kept everything. I haven't taken any buildings down or anything like that. And I still have the ice skating arena, which I don't ice skate. I've never ice skate ice skated before, but um, I don't know if it sounds fun or anything, but I've never done it before. And yes, those are ice skates inside that glass case. Hello, squids. Hello. Wait, actually, th those would be, um, octopuses. Octopi. Who knows? I couldn't count because they kept moving. <laughs> And I have an armory over here that I made last time, but I never showed you. Oh, wait, this is a storage shed, right? The armory is over here, yes. And that's a sword in a glass case. It's got the bacon sword, McLee's bacon sword. It's got some storage chests with weapons in them and a clock. What's over here? Oh yeah, this is the Sacklin's house. Mr. Collins house. <laughs> yeah, I, I picked up some random names. I just picked random names for the villagers. Ah, right. Over here is Baman's home. He's this crazy old hermit who just lives inside the mountain and likes to mine a lot. There's a bed over here. And his mines, Baman's mines. It actually leads straight to the bottom. I really did dr dig, spend a lot of time digging straight to the bottom. I really did. <laughs> Lay straight to the bedrock. And I'm sure some of you have found out that bedrock is unbreakable unless you are in creativity mode. And once you do break it... Oh, crud. Of course, I can't die because I'm in creativity mode.
Okay. I'm going to replace that with some bedrock. Looks more natural. There is the bottom of the world. It just goes on to nothingness, and I'm not going to jump down there because that would be forfeiting my game. I would lose. It would be the end of everything. And so I'm going up, up, up. This takes a long time, I'm sure you've noticed. <laughs> So, Bama and the Crazy Old Hermit. And, believe it or not, I just swept the snow off of the sidewalk, and it just started snowing right after I swept it all. Unbelievable. And then I swept it again, and it started snowing again, and then it started snowing again, because it didn't bother to sweep it the next time. So, it snows a lot over here. Rain or snow. Who knows? I can't believe the rain isn't putting out. Oh, it's because it's netherrack, isn't it? <laughs> right. This is the mine house. The, the official Constantinople mine house. Somebody actually lives here. They, they look after the mine house. It leads deep down into the mines of Moria. No, I'm just joking. There's no mines of Moria. I haven't officially named anything the mines of Moria. But yes, there are there is a lot of vines and 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 moss because of I don't know. It's very strange. I, I've never seen vines grow underground. Ever. Let's get out of here. Oh, and w there is, um, I've noticed something really strange, but also cool at the same time, is that the, um, the Hobbit, since it's short, there's like a glitch or something, I don't know what it is, but if you double jump and you, you go all the way to your scene through the ceiling, you can see everything around you. You can see all the tunnels and all the, um, different stuff that just forms. You can see all the underground. I'll show you a better example down here. Yeah, see, see all those tunnels? The other shaft over there, that one, is another mine shaft. The mine shaft of the Sacklin's home. Uh, that would be really funny if I got a comment saying somebody had their last name of Sacklin. <laughs> yeah, I just picked random names. Let's see if I can even get back inside with that. Okay, yeah, I got back inside. Sometimes the door doesn't like to stay open long enough for me to get out. It's been snowing for a long time now. Oh yes, one of the new creatures in the game are alligators, or crocodiles, depending on where they are. And my favorite weapon is actually the bow. Unless it's gonna lag, because if it lags, then it's hard to aim. <laughs> Yes, I just needlessly killed an alligator that could not have killed me. Or a crocodile, depending on what you like the most. Crocodiles are actually more aggressive than alligators. And generally are much larger, too. The Sacklins also have a little underground 
kitchen sort of area. And yes, these are cakes. And these are the mines. The mines. They don't go as deep as bedrock, like the official mines. No, like Bamon's mines. But um, they they do go pretty deep, and they reach some caverns, like this one right here. This is a cavern. And there's a nice little lava flow, I believe, right around the corner. Yes, right there. And I have another staircase, if you go over, it goes down into the same camera, the same um, cavern, just a different area. Oops. <laughs> I said Cameron there. I was like, same Cameron. That was, that was funny. If your name is Cameron, please don't send a hater comment. That was an accident. I didn't mean to say Cameron. I said cavern. Okay. So, yeah, I have a lot of mines. I know this may seem a bit boring because I'm not going adventuring, but I know there are some people out there that like to see other people's creations and like to just explore and look at things and buildings. I'm not really doing much but flying around. Oh, credits lagging a bit. Oh, okay, there we go. I thought this was really cool over here. A natural formation. I did not build this. It formed. It generated. It was generated by the computer. This actually I built. Like the dirt was already there. It was just dirt hanging in the middle of the air. So I built some. I built a stone pillar to make it look more natural. Because <laughs> floating dirt, that's that's very unnatural. It's like flying food. Unless there's a food fight, but yeah. So I'm going to start building something. It, it's kind of hard for me to concentrate on building and stuff like that whenever I'm talking. But um, I'll try and do my best. Oh, yeah, so it, it adds new creatures too. Like silverfish. Wait, I think... Was that already there? Yeah, th I think that was already there, but... Yeah. But Jungle Spider. Yeah, Jungle Spider is a new one. Zeros are cool, if I'm remembering correctly. No, I think it was Ice Plant, actually. Okay, let's see which is which. Oh, crud. That's, that's not what I want to do. It's the ice plant. It spawned the ice plant far away from my village. Oh, that's right. I have it in peaceful mode. You know, I need to fix that. Let's put it on easy. Because I don't want my villagers to get hurt. That's an ice plant? Oh. That's a zero. Yeah, there's these really weird things. They're very strange. I want to check make sure that that one over there didn't spawn. Nope, it didn't. That's good. There are plenty of zeros everywhere. I hate these guys. <laughs> Especially in survival mode. But it's like you can't really hate them in... Um peaceful mode because they're not really there or in creativity mode because you're invincibil invincible I almost said invincibility you are the concept of invincibility yes okay where did that zero go they, they travel fast surprisingly enough and they're very hard to defeat they're kind of like evil snow golems Um, hmm. Iron golems, actually, I think they just get in the way. You know, they're supposed to protect the villages, but 
I, I'm not gonna spawn any iron golems because they just get in the way. They're not they're not very effective against creepers, and creepers can do a lot of damage. Basically what they do is they just walk up to the creeper and the creeper explodes. Just yeah. Just they they're not really effective against creepers. Which is why they annoy me so much, because one time I was trying to protect this village and the iron golem ran up to a creeper, tried to hit it, and the creeper exploded, blowing out almost three buildings, which I had to then rebuild. That stunk. <laughs> that stunk a lot. Okay, Wh what was I doing again? Was was I going to build something? I, I think I was going to build something. Well, anyways, now that I've showed you the rest of my village... Well, almost the rest. Yeah, I think I think I did show you the rest of my village. Did I show you inside my humble abode? As you can see, I have pressure plates so that I don't have to worry about the doors. This is my little place. It's got a fire pit surrounded by iron. A fire pit in the middle of an igloo. That makes that makes loads of sense. Loads of sense. Well, I'm going to have to end today's episode. And, um, I guess I'll see you later. Bye.